name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls and DIY YouTubers. And welcome to The Drill Down. This is the show where we get you comfortable and confident using power tools in your DIY projects. And today we're making a floating bookshelf. This is perfect for any room in your home that may need a little extra touch of chic. For this DIY, we're gonna be working with a table saw. We worked with the table saw before, but today we're gonna to do a bit more of an advanced technique. Don't be scared, we'll walk you through every step of making this floating shelf. And why do we call it a floating shelf? That's because it has no visible brackets or supports. Let's get into this. So to start, we have three boards that are 36 by 12 by 5 eighths of an inch thick. Two of our planks are gonna be cut to 20 by eight, and we're gonna use them for the top and the bottom of our shelves. We're gonna add 45 degree angle miter cuts on three of the sides. With our last piece, that's gonna be cut into our two side pieces and our back piece. Our side pieces are gonna be eight by 10 with 45 degree miter cuts on three sides, while our back piece is gonna be 20 by 10, just like our top and bottom, but the back piece is gonna have 45 degree miter cuts on all four sides. So it sounds a little complicated, but trust us, these cuts are totally worth it to get a super professional looking shelf in the end. In suiting up, we've said it before, but it bears repeating, never gloves, always goggles, never loose jewelry, but always rolled up or short sleeves. We're also wearing dust masks because we're working with MDF. If you want more safety tips and tricks, visit bemakeful.com. So first up, we're gonna cut out the top piece, which is actually gonna be the same process for the bottom piece. We've already set our blade to a 45 degree angle, which we set here at the back. And you wanna make sure that your table saw is unplugged when you're doing this. So we're gonna cut off eight inches from each end to make our 20 inch length. We can set the fence to eight inches and make our first angled cut. Then we can rotate the piece and make our second cut. All right, so now we have our 20 by 12 inch board, but we're going to make it 20 by eight inches. So we have our fence still set to eight inches and we're going to miter cut four inches off. And that's it, you only have three cuts on this one and then you leave the other side straight. So now for our third board, which will be the back of our shelf, this one gets more cuts. We already cut it to 20 by 10, but we need to add a fourth cut with a beveled edge. Okay, you've seen us do a lot of cutting, but this is where it's all gonna come together. It makes so much sense. So in the middle here, we have our back piece, which is beveled on all four sides, and it is cut to 20 by 10. Top and bottom pieces are here. They are cut to 20 by eight, and they're beveled on three sides. These are our side pieces. They are cut to eight by 10 and are also beveled on three edges. And then on all of these edges, you'll see a straight side, and that is going to become the front of our shelf. So now you can pop some paint on your pieces to really give it some personality. We've gone with white sides with a pink back, but you can have fun with whatever colors or patterns you want. So now we're gonna take some wood glue and put it on all of the 45 degree beveled edges on our pieces. Should start putting this together. Shall. So it's helpful while you're building this to have some tape you can wrap around the top and the bottom of the box to hold it in place while it dries. Amazing. Cool. And then we're gonna let this guy dry. That's a shelf. Almost. Almost. Still need to hang it, right? So flipping it onto its front so that we see the back, we are going to add a French cleat, which is kind of this rail system. So this piece is gonna go on our wall, and then this piece is going to go on our shelf, and it can just clip on like that. So on the back of our shelf here, we're just going to use our carpenter square to make sure that it is level. I mean, the best part is it kind of just like slides on. So exactly, you can just, like, so slide we can kind of eyeball the center here. Yep. Hold that down. Cool. Perfect. Oh my goodness. So can we hang this? We made a shelf. I'm excited. It looks great. This floating shelf is perfect for picture frames, trinkets, tchotchkes, <laughs> you name it. It'll all look perfect floating on this little oasis in any room in your house. Thanks so much for watching. And make sure you follow at BeMakeful and check out BeMakeful.com for more DIY projects like this. And if you happen to make this one, make sure to use the hashtag TheDrillDown so that we can see it. And to see more of us, you can check out YouTube.com slash TheStoryGirls. Bye!